by the name of Duncan, bought 200 acres, designed and built this home. Now, Joe was a professional home builder in the Dallas area. He was pretty good at it, but he didn't want to do that anymore. So he moved out here with his wife, Natalie, and their three young sons so they could raise horses. Now, they were pretty good at that too. We know they sold a lot of horses, but there was one in particular they sold for one million dollars. Now they sold it to a gentleman that some of you possibly have heard of. His name was John Wayne. Mm -hmm. There's some recognition there. That's a good thing. All right. So we know Joe is very, very good at what he did. All right, well, that was 1970. We're going to move ahead a little bit to 1978. And that's when more and more productions in CBS came out with a brand new TV show called Gas. Well, the first five shows were not filmed at this location. They were filmed at a place called Box Ranch. And it was in another town, not far from here. But it was a bigger house, and it had six columns to our four. Now, I did say was because that house has since burned down, so nobody's going to be able to go find it. But Mrs. Fox had just put in a lot of new landscaping. Well, when they came to cast the crew and all that big equipment, it tore up her new landscaping that did not make her happy, so she asked them to leave and they did. They started looking around the area for another big white house with columns. That's when they found Duncan Farms. So they came up, they knocked on the door, they told Joe what they wanted, and he said no. <laughs> he had three young boys and he wanted to protect them. So Laura Moore left. But a little while later, Laura Moore came back. And this time, a little bit smarter. They had a man with a briefcase, and in that briefcase was a nice big bad check. Now we have no idea how many zeros were on that check, but it was enough to make Joe say yes. But he did give them two stipulations. The first stipulation was no filming inside the house. As I said, he had three young boys wanting to protect them, plus the house is just under 6,000 square feet. So it really wasn't big enough for all the equipment. They went to downtown Dallas. They found a true mansion down there. They went inside, took lots and lots of pictures of it. They went back to California and they recreated that house on their 40,000 square foot soundstage. Now the second stimulation, they could only film June, July, and August. Well, you may have noticed, Texas does tend to get a little warm in the summertime. Well, that summer was no exception. The first day of filming, they're all standing outside in their nice clothes. The director yells, action! And none of the ladies could move. Their heels had melted into the asphalt. It was so warm. So they filmed either early in the morning or late in the afternoon when it wasn't quite so hot. All right, that was 1978. Now by 1980, the ratings are coming down a little bit. They decided they were gonna film a cliffhanger. Well, of course, that cliffhanger was who shot J.R. Now, Dallas was shown in 96 countries, 55 different languages. To this day, who shot JR? It is still 
the number one show of all time in the entire world. Now, it is second in the United States, but only behind the very last show of MASH. But it just so happens, a couple weeks after that show aired, CBS had an American football game on. And as luck would have it, it was played right here in Dallas. So they decided to combine the two shows, which sounded like a good idea, but just didn't work out that way. At halftime, they started out by playing the Dallas theme music, talking about the cats, and of course, talking about who shot JR, but nobody knew who shot JR. When they filmed that episode, every cast member, including Larry Hagby, was filmed shooting JR, so that way, no one could say who knew it. Well, they were talking about all of this, and there was a young female announcer. Her name was Phyllis George. She was a former Miss America from Texas. So they asked her what she liked best about being back in the area. Well, she made three little mistakes. Mistake number one. She said South Fork was a real live working ranch. Mistake number two. She said there was a real life family that lived here. Now, the third mistake was the biggest one of all. She gave the address. The next morning, half of Dallas was right up there on the Duncan's front yard, bringing flowers and give well wishes to the Now, the Duncans were pretty patient people. Over the next four years, they had complete strangers come and swim in their pool. They had people stealing their mail and souvenirs. But the worst thing of all, people would come up at night, try to take their pictures through the windows. Well, by 1984, the Duncans had had enough. They sold their beautiful home for seven million dollars. Now, the young man that bought it, he was a true live Texas oil man from Odessa, Texas. His name was Terry Trebek. Now, while Terry was here, he did do some great things for South Fork. He opened up the house for the first time for filming. He allowed visitors in for the first time. He even brought in three Waterford Crystal Chandeliers. Now, two of those are in the dining room. They cost him $7,500 a piece. The one in the entryway cost him $17,000. Well, by 1990, Terry was beginning to think that he was the true life JR. So he put the 200 acres and all the buildings up as collateral on a business deal and he went bankrupt. So the bank came out, boarded up all the doors and windows, fired everybody that worked here, and sent Terry off the property. Well, over the next couple of years, the bank started selling some of the land to get their money back, and by June of 1992, we were down to just 40 acres. That's when our third owner purchased the property. His name was Rex Mon. He went out, added 300 more acres, so today we have 340 acres. Rex also put $500,000 into redecorating the inside of the house. 30,000 of that in wall coverings alone. So with that being said, we're going to start our walking tour. Now we're going to go right next door and I'm going to show you some of that wall covering. So grab everything and come with me. Mm -hmm.